Pompeii was an ancient Roman city inhabited by approximately 20,000 people. Today, we can only appreciate its ruins. It is located at the foot of Mount Vesuvius, which rises 2,200 meters above sea level, near the Bay of Naples, Italy. This volcano experienced a devastating eruption in the year 79 AD, which devastated Pompeii and Herculaneum. For this reason, Pompeii is the object of great scientific interest, as it seeks to discover and study the vestiges of this ancient civilization. In this video, dear friends, we will explore together the discoveries made in this city. Number 1. The devastating eruption of Mount Vesuvius, which leveled the ancient city of Pompeii, has long been believed to have occurred in August 79 AD, according to historical records. However, new evidence suggests that this eruption could have taken place much later, possibly in October or November of that same year. A key find is an inscription discovered during the city's renovation work, which has changed our understanding of the events. The inscription, written in charcoal, dates the event as October 17, 79 AD, indicating that the eruption may have occurred later than previously thought. This discovery is even more significant because the inscription, found on a white wall prepared for renovation, would likely have faded over time, making it very precise contemporary evidence. In this video, I would like to acquaint you more closely with the culture and life of the people who perished in that catastrophe and talk about the most amazing finds in the ruins of this city. Number 2. The Rapid Annihilation of Pompeii Scientists from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology have been studying the Pompeii tragedy for a long time. They recently discovered that the eruption killed the Pompeians in just 15 minutes. Experts have always believed that the city was destroyed in a very short period of time, which was evidenced by the remains of those who tried to find shelter and survive. Number 3. Shocking details of the plasters. Plaster impressions reveal the positions of the Pompeians at the time of their death. Some were frozen sitting against a wall, apparently resigned to their fate. Others tried to cover their heads. Some crawled on their knees toward buildings, while others tried to protect their children. All of these individuals had horror and panic on their faces, as they did not expect anyone to survive the encounter with the natural disaster. Number 4. The Exact Time of Annihilation However, the exact time it took to annihilate the inhabitants of Pompeii remained an open question. To determine this, scientists studied pyroclastic flows from Vesuvius found in Pompeii. These pyroclastic flows are often compared to avalanches, but not of snow, but of burning debris. Number 5. Disaster modeling. They descend the slope of the volcano at speeds of more than 100 kilometers per hour, destroying everything in their path. To calculate the time, specialists considered the distance from Vesuvius to Pompeii and the speed of the deadly volcanic mix. Modeling of the disaster showed that pyroclastic flows reached Pompeii within minutes. The city was enveloped by a black cloud composed of carbon dioxide, chlorides, scorching ash particles and volcanic glass. Number 6. The Impact of the Deadly Cloud The temperature inside this cloud exceeded 100 degrees Celsius, and at that time, people no longer had a chance to escape. According to scientists, the cloud's toxic gases, ash, Volcanic particles and high temperature killed about 2,000 Pompeians in 15 minutes. Number 7. The Headless Skeleton of Pompeii. One of archaeologists' most macabre finds at Pompeii was a decapitated skeleton. The remains of this person were found under a thick layer of volcanic rock with a rock nearby. Scientists believe that during the tragedy, a massive stone fell on the man's head. To test their theory, the researchers decided to move the rock. To their surprise, they found no remains of the skull. The stone, which fell on the victim's head, 
weighed more than 250 kilograms. As it fell, it not only decapitated the man, but also shattered the upper part of his ribcage. Examination of the remains showed that they belonged to a man in his 30s who suffered from a tibial disease. Scientists speculate that he was fleeing when the eruption began. However, during an earthquake, a stone that could have served as support at the entrance of a building where the man sought refuge collapsed on him. Number 8. Tragedies Revealed Excavations at Pompeii have been ongoing for more than 200 years, and archaeologists continue to uncover new finds that reveal episodes in the lives of the city's ancient inhabitants. The Tragic Story of a Pregnant Woman Among the remains of the deceased was also a pregnant woman, along with coins and jewelry. Her large round belly is clearly visible in the plaster cast. Scientific studies showed that the woman was 36 weeks pregnant and was about to give birth soon. Unfortunately, her baby never got to see this world. Number 9. The Eternal Embrace of Two Men At the beginning of the 20th century, during excavations in Pompeii, the remains of two people hugging were discovered. Initially, scientists believed they belonged to a pair of lovers. Experts later concluded that they were not a romantic couple, but rather two women, possibly sisters. But thanks to modern DNA research, the remains were found to belong to two men. The nature of their relationship remains a mystery. It is only known for certain that they were not related. Some historians have speculated that the men were in a romantic relationship, since homosexuality was quite common in ancient Rome. However, these two individuals could also have simply been good friends. Number 10. Horse Stable in Pompeii. In 2018, during excavations in the ancient city of Pompeii, a villa belonging to a wealthy and respected person was discovered. Archaeologists found a wooden manger and well-preserved remains of a horse. Later, upon completely clearing the volcanic rock stable, they discovered the remains of two more horses, along with fragments of harnesses and saddles decorated with wooden and bronze elements. Scientists obtained a complete plaster copy of the best-preserved horse, revealing that these horses belonged to a pure breed of the time, indicated by their small size compared to modern horses. Number 11. The Abandonment of the Dog in Pompeii. Since ancient times, dogs have served humans as loyal assistants and brave guardians. However, sometimes their owners did not reciprocate those feelings. A poignant example is the plaster cast of a dog discovered in 1874 in Pompeii. This dog belonged to Marcus Vinius Primus, a wealthy inhabitant of Pompeii. When Primus felt that his life was in danger during the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD, he decided to leave the city without even thinking about his loyal companion, who was left tied in the atrium of the house. The heartbreaking position of the dog, fighting for his life until the last second, was captured in this cast. Despite having the opportunity to save him, Primus chose to abandon him to his fate. Number 12. The Thermopolium of Pompeii. Archaeologists discovered a surprising street food stall in Pompeii, known as a Thermopolium, where food was prepared for inhabitants around 2,000 years ago. This former fast restaurant was decorated with images of a sea nymph riding a horse, vessels with wine, birds, and animals. The Thermopolium provides a fascinating insight into food customs and daily life in ancient Pompeii. They offered dishes made with chicken, duck and, of course, good wine in clay containers. Food remains were found under the counter, such as duck, pork and goat bones, as well as fish scales. Wine amphorae were also discovered. Tragically, the remains of a man and a child were found, probably a local worker and his son, who perished during the catastrophe. Number 13. Pompeii Bakeries Bread, 
considered a symbol of fertility, played a vital role in daily life in Pompeii. Around 40 bakeries were found during the excavations, with the largest equipped with mills, dough mixers, and a huge oven that allowed the production of up to 2,000 loaves a day. Examination of these bakeries revealed 80 loaves charred in an oven, offering a unique insight into what baked goods were like in ancient Rome. These round loaves, approximately 25 centimeters in diameter and 580 g in weight, often contained fruits, nuts, and seeds on top. Today, the site of the ancient city of Pompeii is a vast open-air museum spanning 44 hectares. One of its attractions is the Garden of the Fugitives. Before the eruption began, some people sensed danger and decided to leave Pompeii, but there were others who believed that nothing serious would happen and stayed in the city. However, when black ash began to fall from the sky and darkness enveloped Pompeii, people sought shelter. But it was too late. The remains of these people were found in the 19th century during excavations led by archaeologist J.P.I. Fiorelli. I hope you liked the video, until next time.